Okay, so Kelly, our webinar is now streaming live on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and we want to just see if we can get the webinar itself live so we can get some of our attendees in. Let's just see Hello. where we're at. There we go, webinar is live. Right, good afternoon, everybody. We um, obviously are yeah on the 11th of March, uh, 2021, and it's another Thursday. And uh, true to South African style, <laughs> we have got load shedding, and uh, and my business partner Lenny is battling very, very much with load shedding and signal in the area that he's in. So we're hoping that he will join us as uh, as time goes by. So we're very excited today, and I'm going to be introducing our panelists to you very, very shortly. Um, but let's just quickly talk about who we are. This is the Induku Group, and uh, as always in the green room, myself, Trevor Thomas, and my business partner, Lenny De Villiers, we take this time to just spend some, some quality time with you about uh, what we do, and that is we help people who would like to get to America and live their dream. So if you are looking to live your dream in America and look at different options and ways that you can find yourself in America, we obviously focus on an EB3, which is an employment-based green card. And we uh, also assist with people that are currently in America looking to maybe change their current status from an H2A or H2B into a more permanent solution, whereby you could be in America and for work for one of the companies that we recruit for. So that's also an opportunity for those of you that are out in America. And of course, what we are now going to be talking to is some of the other th the programs that we have, which is an in E2 investment program, which we've dealt with um, somewhat. And on the 23rd of this month, we are going to be doing a live event. So it'll be quite exciting. So you can find out much more about what that E2 and the investment opportunities look like in, in America. Um, and of course, today, true to the point, we're going to be talking about uh, nursing. And uh, we, we're going to get right into that shortly. So, um, Lenny, I'm not sure if you are there. Uh, right, so let's talk about what the green room is. Guys, the green room is a place and space where you have got the opportunity to ask us questions and find out more about immigration. And what we do is we try and bring in professionals onto this platform where we can help educate, um, help bring knowledge to the table. Um, and, and what we do is we dive into every single aspect that you can think of in terms of immigration. We talk about things like um, you know, how it impacts your kids when you immigrate. We talk about what to take when you immigrate. We talk about um, your pets. We've discussed guns. We've done, I think Lenny and I have now done on 34 of these. Um, so we, we are quite excited about the amount of, of webinars that we've done. Um, sorry, I might, it might actually be over 40 by now. Um, so anyway, in this space, that's what we do. And if you've got any questions or you'd like to find out more about what we do and how we do it, you need to please get in touch with us. We don't just dive into people that are moving to America. This space is for anyone that is looking to immigrate. Like we said, stuff like psychology of, of the children that are moving, all that sort of stuff. It's obviously things that impact you, whether you're going to America, the UK, or anywhere else in the world. Lenny, I seem to have a bit of a clearer picture. Are you with us? I hope so. I hope so, Trevor. <laughs> I think I've, uh, I've made myself into a human bunny aerial to try and find a signal. And um, it seems to have worked. Uh, I wouldn't tell. Ah, goodness me. All right, well, we'll leave Lenny to find his bunny aerials. No, Len, you're coming and going. All right, guys, on the green room today. No, Len, not working. Uh, guys, on the green room today, we're super excited to, to handle this a, a new section. Um, but just before we do that, we've got a couple of people. I know that Lenny always welcomes some of the people that are with us. Um, Stuart, Alan, uh, Bruce, all the way from the United States. Always good to see you, sir. Uh, Erica, Ilona, Sasha, Titos, Victor. And we've got a number of people that have joined us on, on uh, Facebook. And we always get a lot of people that watch our webinars after the fact. Kelly, thank you so very much for joining us today. So Kelly is joining us to discuss the nursing program and Kelly is now with Visa Solutions. And Kelly, there's no better person that can introduce um, you to us but yourself. So I'm gonna ask you at this point in time, if you would share with us a little bit about you, 
um, how you came to be part of Visa Solutions um, and why you are with us today. Absolutely. Well, first, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, the entire Induku group, uh, Sasha, for setting up behind the scenes. Um, of course, Trevor, Lenny, um, for the invite this morning here in Florida and um, the afternoon there. So to um, tell you a little bit about myself, I'm Kelly Brioso. I am the head of healthcare operations here at Visa Solutions healthcare. Um, I am super excited about the opportunity um, with Induku Group um, because of your presence um, in your market uh, reach, and um, uh, it, it's going to be an exciting time. I have been um, working in healthcare uh, staffing recruitment for just over 15 years, uh, specifically in international um, healthcare about 13 years now. And I really found my passion um, when I transferred um, many, many years ago into international. Um, I just really love what I do. Um, it's, it's, so, it's so gratifying to help people obtain um, that uh, dream, reach that goal um, to ultimately get here to the U.S. Um, so, you know, that, that's me in a nutshell. And um, I'm super excited to lead the team at uh, Visa Solutions Healthcare and uh, bring us to, to the next level as far as healthcare is concerned. Awesome. Thank you, Kitty. Thank you very much for that introduction. Um, Len, I don't know if you, you still seem a bit frozen on my side. No, Kelly, it looks like it's you and Trevor today. <laughs> Kelly, so we're very excited to have you with us today. And I think that the first question that I need to ask you, um, and, and, you know, in terms of Visa Solutions Healthcare, let's talk to the number of positions and, and the demand in the United States of America at the moment in terms of healthcare professionals. Um, why are, are you, Visa Solutions and Induku, looking at recruiting nurses for, for America? Absolutely, that's a that's a fantastic question. So, so as as we know, um, we're all still living in the pandemic, right? Of 2020, we're still in the in the grips of it. I I think um, uh, U.S. has really been uh, strained um, a bit more than they ever anticipated. To be perfectly honest, um, and the lack of the nursing specialty. Um, has been um, emphasized and highlighted, uh, to to say the least, here in the U.S. Yeah. Um, you know what what that what that said. What is occurring right now in the U.S. is the need is so high, um, and the quantity of nurses that we have is so low that basically what's happening is one facility is is stealing a nurse from another facility to bring them over to them. And um, unfortunately, for the facilities, that's not sustainable long term. Um, yes. We're not going to see this this go away. Um, there, there's there's uh, many um, findings and studies that say, you know, in the next 10 years, we're going to need 1 million nurses in the wow. US. Um, so the number is mind boggling, to say the least. Um, you know, we we have um, here at Visa Solutions have been thinking about healthcare for many years, well before pandemic mm -hmm. hit, right? Because this is, has been an ongoing um, struggle um, within the healthcare segment, the nursing yeah. especially. Um, they're the backbone of, of the hospital, <laughs> the the nurses. So that that's just the way it is, um, and. This wasn't something uh, that we jumped into lightly. This is something very, very well um, investigated. And um, we finally put all the pieces in place with the team um, to really feel that we could serve the community, um, multiple communities, right? The healthcare um, yeah. facilities, the nurses, um, as well as our, our partner country around the world um, that we've already been working with on Visa Solutions side. So now yes. with Visa Solutions Healthcare, we want to take that, like I said, to the next level um, and really expand upon our relationships worldwide 
um, in enhance with another diversification of healthcare, because as we know, the need is not going away anytime soon. Yes. Well, wow, Kelly, you know what? Um, I know that on the trucking side, there's uh, a, a demand for, for qualified truck drivers. And I know that the figure last time was approximately 64,000 vacancies. But what you're telling me is nursing is, is, is probably more of a demand um, uh, across the board. And, and Kelly, is this, is this um, sort of region related or across America completely? That's another great question. Um, you're, you're absolutely right. The, we're in a critical state here in the US um, for, for nursing. It is not just regional. It's just um, not in one state per se. Um, it right. is truly across the nation. Um, we're talking big cities, rural locations. Yeah. Um, it, is, it, it is a tremendous need. Um, just to kind of touch on that, our clients um, right now are going to be in varied states. So <laughs> really spread out to be perfectly honest. We're talking uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, Florida, Texas, the West Coast, Washington State, Oregon, California. And then of course the Midwest, uh, the Midwest is hurting bad. You know, yeah. the, the North Dakota, the South Dakota, the Minnesotas, um, some of our uh, key, um, connections are going to be um, within the rural locations. Um, nice. So we are also members of the National uh, Rural Hospital Association. So our goal is to not only uh, touch the larger cities, but also venture out into the rural locations because the need is that widespread. Okay. Kelly, so before we unpack this opportunity for nurses out there and talk to what you specifically looking for, let's quickly discuss this profession of nursing specifically to the United States of America. And I mean, you're, you've got many years in, in, in this field. Um, let's just talk a little bit about what nursing looks like and what people can expect and, and what would their career path look like in, in the United States of America? Well, that's a fantastic question. Now, the way that um, nursing is, is progressing over the course of the years, um, I have seen many different um, types of progression with the clinical staff that I've placed already over the past right. you know, 13 years. Um, I have put nurses into entry level positions and they've grown, um, of course, not only into charge capacity, um, directors of facilities to oh, CNOs. So the growth potential is absolutely there. Um, again, the nurse needs to want to have that progression. Um, I've had many nurses as well advance their education. Um, right. Of course, um, all of our uh, international nurses will have their BSN um, coming to the U.S. and many of them have gone further educated themselves and are masters level nurses right now teaching um, and also gone on to hire nurses themselves. Those decision makers that are now recruiting some of our international, uh, you know, candidates. So it's it's an exciting opportunity. Um, you know, number one, they're coming on the EB three. And that's, that's a fantastic uh, thing in itself. And they're able to yeah. start um, uh, that, that immigration <laughs> process immediately right. Uh, right. when they have that offer with us. So it, it's the, 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 um, the future is so bright for the clinical nurse um, that wants the growth potential. Fantastic. So Kelly, um, who's your ideal candidate? Let's talk to, you know, um, attitude, experience. I know that you and I have spoken about this. English is obviously a very, very big thing. Can we talk a little bit about those points? Absolutely. Um, the English is very important. Um, just, just think, you know, um, if you can't communicate with the patient, it's mm. going to be a hurdle for everyone. And that's just yes. another stress factor that we don't want to put upon our clinician, right? Yeah. Um, so, so number one, the biggest hurdle for majority of our international candidates is um, passing the IELTS um, exam um, through the process. 
but um, you know what I look for when I when I interview a nurse is number one experience, right? They have to have yeah. um, the solid clinical experience. Um, our clients are very um, firm on one year of experience in the specialty that they would be submitted to. So let's say they're a medical surgical nurse. They need to be in medical surgical. They can't be a float nurse that goes between yes. medical surgical and ICU and ER. Um, that's great for flexibility um, and so on and so forth. But they want the subject matter expert <laughs> within right. that specialty. Right. Um, so yes. minimally, it's one year. We find with our international candidates, it's anywhere from three to five to 10 years experience that they that our international nurses will actually arrive to the US with. So they're going to be very, very established and um, experienced. But we do need that solid final year um, upon mm -hmm. submission within specialty. Um, that's really important. So I look for a great attitude when I speak with right. someone because they need to be flexible. They need to be mm -hmm. open-minded to learn. Um, right. And also um, a lot of nurses abroad don't really realize here in the US, the industry standard is minimally to have an associate degree for nursing. Right. That is minimal. So a lot of times you may come in internationally and be way more educated than your director or your CNO because they may have their associate degree, but they have worked their way up, just like I said, would be available for progression for any of our nurses that we recruit. Yes. So you yes. have to have a very open mind to say, this individual worked their way up. I could do that as well, but you also have to know that you report to them and they are mm -hmm. the ultimate you know uh, manager per se so mm -hmm. there's there's many factors like that and then you know our goal is also to learn things about what the nurse wants what what are their ultimate goals where do they see themselves um what um what kind of growth potential do they want um mm -hmm. do they have families and we really hone into those items as well. Uh, when I speak yeah. with someone, I'm thinking about all those factors because I'm trying to match them automatically to the best client that fits their needs, where they want to be. Do they have family and friends in the U.S.? Can we try yes. to get them close in proximity to their locations? So there's a lot mm -hmm. of factors um, that coincide with um you know, us looking at the nurse and determining, are they a great fit? The next mm -hmm. thing is they have to be committed. They have to have, mm -hmm. and you have to know they have a sense of loyalty. It's very important. We're going to be very committed and loyal to them as soon as we accept them into the program. So mm -hmm. it's very important um, that they know through the process and when they come to work, ultimately, that they have to be very loyal and committed through the process of uh, staying with the um, client location. Mm. Kelly, that's super. I, I must say that, you know, one of the things that I just loved about what you spoke about now is true to Visa Solutions, the, the heart of Visa Solutions, um, you know, where you talk about is not just about what the client is wanting, but what what our, our applicants are looking for. And um, and I think that that's really one of those common denominators that that is, you know, has been successful since the beginning of time with, uh, you know, Jose and, and everyone else that is that is part of Visa Solutions. So thanks for that. Um, Kelly, let's let's quickly just hone in. I mean, nursing is is a wide spectrum. We've got so many different nurses in terms of fields of, of nursing. I don't know if that's the correct terminology and you can you can help me because I'm learning a lot about nursing now. Um, Kelly, so what, you know, in terms of the people that we are looking for now, um, are we looking for specific nurses? And can you maybe give us a couple of those examples of what nurses you're looking for right now in, in this space? Absolutely. So the high demand nurse right now is a med tele nurse. So as we know, everyone is still in COVID um, mode, right? So yeah. these are, this is where the stress point is right now. Right. Um, and that is going to be the highest need. These nurses right. have to be experienced with the ventilate vents, trachs. Um, so that's, that's the number one position, I would say right now across the board. 
Um, of course, we're always going to have um, the ICU, the critical care nurses, ER. Um, mm. Those are going to be the top. We are also going to see needs in sporadic places for L and D, NICU, on the on the mother and baby um, side of the business, um, and yes. then and then it's it's inevitable. We always um, will be looking for um, OR scrub and circulate nurses. Um, that's across the board. I just want to give you an example of one hospital system. Uh, that we are working with right now, they have 1,100 positions open, 1,100. So, okay. so it's across the board. Um, again, those high needs are going to be in that med telly, mm. and then it's going to trickle down and it's going to be sporadic. We're, we might get some different things like endoscopy, um, mm. dialysis. And so okay. we will have a, the full gamut, to be perfectly honest, as, as right. far as um, specialties are concerned. Um, and uh, so, so, you know, I think it's really important um, if someone has interest, we speak with yeah. all nurses because we're going to be able to find a, a match for them. Right now, our focus is solely on acute hospitals, which is going to be the... Um, um, the, the larger facilities or maybe the second tiers that are in the rural locations, but that's going to be our primary focus, but it's going to be cover the full gamut of specialties. Okay. Yeah. So Kelly, um, I, I need to sort of dive into the timelines that a nurse would be expected, you know, from, from date of making application to getting into the States. But before I get there, something is very relevant. Um, Erica has also just asked a question over here. Is this opportunity only for nurses or, or also other medical staff as well? That's a, that's a great question. Right now at Visa Solution, our sole focus is going to be nurses um, okay. for 2021. Now, I never say no to anything, to be honest. Um, yes. Should I get a client that says, I need physical therapist or I need medical technologist, um, so on and so forth. When those are um, come forward on a client by client basis, then we would um, have that conversation with our agencies around the world to say, okay, now we're gonna roll this segment out or this specialty. Um, personally, I have recruited physical therapists, occupational therapists, uh, med techs, um, as well, and we would utilize the same um, immigration for all of them. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Kelly, so um, let's talk timelines. I mean, we all know that that uh, currently South Africa is, is in a different sort of space and place because of the consulate, right? Um, but let's talk generic. We have um, someone from Kenya that contacts us and wants to make an application. Let's talk about, you know, what would that those those steps be? And then with that, let's talk about the timeline that we could talk to, you know, how quickly could we get them into America? Absolutely. So, so for the African continent, it's going to vary. And, and like mm. you said, it really depends on consular locations, um, et cetera. From my experience in the past, um, when I have a nurse that may have all the credentials, which means the IELTS, the visa screen, the NCLEX, and we, we open their case and we file it, I've had cases processed as quick as six to nine months um, from, from start to finish. Now, we're kind of in a different stage right now of the world. We have COVID. Right, we have a new administration here and uh, the highest government. So we have a lot of unknowns that we're also sure. dealing with um, at this time. And we are, we are seeing embassies open up now on the nursing side. Um, interviews are occurring um, as we speak. So that's a, that's a wonderful thing because we've all been living in the unknown, right? You know, the past yeah. year. With that said, um, I want to also give realistic expectation of right now in regards mm -hmm. to those timelines. So from filing, I would say realistically, we could hone into about 12 months for the African nurses. Um, that would be, I would give that as a good guesstimate uh, yes. of the pulse of immigration right now. Now, 
things could go way quicker um, mm -hmm. through the process. And then in some cases with, with immigration, um, there's always the unknown one, you know, 10 cases get through quickly and mm -hmm. one is held up and there's no rhyme or reason, honestly, um, with immigration, but that's kind of my best guesstimate um, at this point, as we start um, flowing through the immigration, things start opening up again this year through 2021 into 2022. I mean, there's so many variables. Um, vaccinations are occurring, right, for COVID. So we, we have um, a lot of um, positive things that are occurring, which could in turn make our timeline go a lot, a lot quicker. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, Kelly, so big question that I'm sure is on everybody's lips, right? You know, we, yeah. we're going to talk just now about step one and who they can contact and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. How much would this cost you know, if I was a nurse and I wanted to apply and I wanted to be part of this opportunity and and take my career path to a place where I could work and, and live in the United States of America, how much would that cost me? Okay, before I tell you about cost, I kind of want to just build a vision of yeah. why visa solutions, right? Why, why would a nurse choose visa solutions as well as Induku for this program? Right. So, so... I want to give you a vision because I've been working in this um, industry for quite some time and I came on um, with Visa Solutions just in January. And I'm gonna give you my, my main reason, number one. Um, my main reason, number one, was our CEO. And I wanna kind of give you a little highlight to my decision-making because within this industry of staffing in the US, there's not a lot of CEOs that are immigrants themselves and have been in the shoes of our candidates. So number one, that was a huge factor for me to make this, this leap because I felt that um, Jose understands the process um, he's been through it himself, and there's there's a lot to say when someone understands and they're mm -hmm. empathetic, and um, that comes through with all the steps of immigration. Then he's a subject matter expert with in, with immigration, so I I, I immediately was um, taken back in regards to what an expert he was. Mm. Next. I thought, my goodness, this is where I want to be because my passion for helping others could be amplified within this organization. And not only professionally is and has um, immigration been important to me, obviously I've helped hundreds or probably thousands in some health provider to get to the US and have that American dream. Mm. But personally, my family is, is, has expanded over the last course of several years, five to seven years. My son-in-law is an immigrant. My daughter-in-law is an immigrant. I have two sister-in-laws that are immigrants. So it's, it's professional for me, but it's, all, it's also very personal for me. Mm. Um, immigrant immigration, um, bringing immigrants here, and the value that they add to the country, to organizations, to families, right? Mm. So it, it's it's for Visa Solution Healthcare. It's um, a business. It's personal for us. It really is personal, and that leads to our model um, where we place directly with the hospital. The nurses are an employee of the hospital or facility directly day one. Visa Solutions is not a staffing company. We right. are a placement company. We make those introductions. We build those relationships. So we assure that our nurses have the best experience, right? The smoothest transition. They are part of a team immediately. They have the same um, benefits 
and offerings just as any other U.S. employee would have. So we 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 putting we're putting a lot of thought into that, a lot of care, um, and we're all we're always doing it with kindness, right? Mm-hmm. We're 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 making those matches to the best of our ability based on experience. Yeah. Secondly. It's a win-win situation for the hospitals because they're getting a long-term employee. And the nurse also knows exactly where they're going, what the expectation is, where their family's going to go along with them, uh, Mm -hmm. so on and so forth. And just to kind of get back to your question, because I went off on a tangent to build a vision, um, Visa Solutions absolutely never charges anything to nurses. The process is totally um, uh, funded by Visa Solutions upfront. Ultimately, our, our client partnerships will pay us for our services. So there is no, no dollar amount that is due from our nurses ever, zero. Um, big fat zero across the board <laughs> in regards wow. to cost. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Listen, uh, Kelly, I, I think that you in, in that last little couple of sentence, you know, you summed up everything and uh, there's not much more to say. I think that you have uh, really, I think, and, and you know, it's in the, in the time that I've been discussing things with you as well, I think that they couldn't have had a better person heading up um, Visa Solutions Healthcare because you are truly, truly passionate about that, which you do. So this is this is an amazing opportunity. I think it's super, super, super exciting. Um, and I think that, you know, everybody out there that has been listening or, or been on this webinar or is going to listen to this or view it later, you need to send this, this on to people that you know that are in, in nursing at the moment, doesn't matter where they are in the world. Um, and let's get this message out because the opportunities are certainly there. Um, and and just as, as Kelly has spoken to you now, if you want to be part, not just part of um, being a nurse in America, but part of an experience of moving across there and having a successful immigration path, Kelly, I think that's what we're talking to, a ex- successful yeah. immigration path. And I think, Kelly, you must look back on some of the placements that you've made and, and just be so proud of the people that came in and, uh, at one level and have just, you know, now they're part of, of, of recruitment themselves and, and, you know, defining who else comes into play. So it's, it's such a wonderful journey. It's really, really, really nice. So, Kelly, we, we obviously need to talk to what people's next steps would be. And uh, I'm going to jump in there because I'm so excited off the back of what you've now said. I'm going to say to everybody, guys, you, you already know by now, Induku, it's www.indukugroup.com. You need to go through there. Um, our email address is info at indukugroup.com. Drop us an email. Drop us questions on this um, platform that you're on at the moment. Send us your information and we're going to get someone in touch with you so that we can start getting the different things that you need, the processes that you need, the stuff that needs to be put into place. Um, Kelly's team is extremely professional in the way that they ask and request things. There's a lot of stuff that you do need to have and submit to us. And the quicker you give us that stuff, Kelly, the quicker we can assist and help these people. Um, Kelly, I, I'm, I'm going to really, I, I truly thank you for the time today. It's been really awesome. And, um, you know, let's, let's talk about final words. What would you like to close off by saying? Well, you know, I, I thank you as well, because I think this is a, a, a great mechanism to get the word out there um, and, and start building the name recognition. Um, and I, I do want to highlight some of the special things that I've seen over my tenure in international. I've seen um, not only growth professionally, but I've seen sons build their parents a home in the Mm -hmm. Philippines because they were able to financially do that. I've seen um, couples come over so young and innocent, and I've seen marriages and I've seen them have their first baby and their second baby, and in between there, purchase a home um, and settle into a community. So this is a wonderful mechanism for all clinicians to take advantage of, speak with the Induka group. We will help you and guide you through every step of the way. That includes the credentialing process, um, prepping a rep resume to what the client is looking for, ultimately prepping you for an interview with the client, 
getting that offer, and then moving you forward through the immigration process. Um, and we work with expert um, attorneys through the process that I've been working with for 13 plus years. Um, so we are going to do everything in our power to streamline um, every process, make it as smooth as possible. Our goal is not to stress anyone out, it's to get you through the process sooner rather than later. And ultimately, uh, when we are ready to go, um, it's, a, it's a full, full um, uh, program in regards to um, housing, flights uh, booked to the US. So, I mean, it's it's a it's a unbelievable opportunity. Um, believe me when I say, if, if I was a nurse in another country, I would be knocking on the door um, for Nduku to interview me immediately. Uh, sometimes I, I have to tell myself, is this really true? Do we do all of this? Um, and it's 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 that fantastic um, for these nurses. So I look forward to um, many many uh, years ahead in the partnership with Nduku um, in in uh, sourcing and um, recruiting these nurses for us. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, Kelly. So you know, I think what we need to do perhaps is is have another one of these green room webinars at a point where we could talk to you about that because obviously you know. We've always known about um, the, on 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 certain of the programs that the guys would get across to America, um, flights would be paid, et cetera, et cetera. But I think you know, in the nursing, as you mentioned, now there's a lot of added things that you know um, we need to take some time and dive into. And I think what we need to do is we need to let this now be be sent out to all the friends and family, and we need to then do a a webinar where we could have those people that then get this information to come and join us on a webinar where we can really talk to the point of what is offered on the table and what's what the uh, the complete package is the holistic package that's absolutely you know, the, yeah, I, I would absolutely do that um uh, whenever we put that on the agenda sounds fantastic. perfect yeah, yeah. Kelly, thank you so much once again for your time today. We know it's early more early hours in, in, in Florida at the moment. Um, and uh, I'm sure that once we can we can all travel, that you'll be making a trip out to South Africa and Africa, and, and we'll do that together. And we look forward to doing that face to face. But uh, for now, you keep safe and, and keep healthy. And thank you for being with us today on The Green Room. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Um, and I can't wait till the next time. Thanks, Kelly. All the best. Thanks for joining us today, guys. And thanks for those that joined us on Facebook. We see you next week, Thursday. All the best. Bye-bye. Okay.